you've all heard the hubbub about online dating, but the question remains, can a computer really find your soulmate? Hey everyone, I'm Lacey Green, and this is DNews. When I was in college, most of my friends had a profile on OkCupid to explore the dating scene in San Francisco, you know, kind of like another social networking site. I know there's a sort of strange stigma attached to it, but of the 54 million adult singles in the US, over 40 million of them have at least tried online dating, okay? So this isn't some fringy shit. These days, about 20% of committed relationships and 17% of marriages start online, which is super interesting. On one hand, what does online dating mean for our relationships? And on the other, can a code really predict success? Recently, the Society for Personality and Social Psychology held their big fancy annual conference in New Orleans, and it featured a talk by UCLA social psychologist Dr. Gonzaga, who also works for eHarmony. Since eHarmony boasts a half a million successful marriages, everyone's like, okay guys, what's the secret? The secret is similarity. An extensive questionnaire is administered to new members of the site, which explores things like personality, communication style, interests, and using your answers, the website suggests matches based on how similar you are to another person, which has garnered a big stink from his colleagues. Could it be the case that it's the very likable, easygoing people who are making off on the website? Similarity is great for some, sure, but it's not gonna work for everyone. For instance, two needier people who need to be the center of attention. How well is that gonna go, really? In contrast, OkCupid, the biggest unpaid dating site that caters to a younger crowd, also has a questionnaire function that's answered at your leisure. It's an endless database of questions, and based on your answers, OkCupid then calculates a match percentage for each person's profile that you visit. But unlike eHarmony, the match percentage is not based just on how similar your answers are. It's a formula based on your answer, your desired answer in a partner, and how much the question actually matters to you. So, personal experience to throw in here, when I was in college nursing a broken heart, I went on a few dates from OkCupid. You know, I'm always down for an adventure. And what I found was that the match percentages were creepily accurate. Seriously, my low matches were so annoying, even their messages pissed me off. My higher matches were much better. At one point, the OkCupid bot suggested to me a guy who was my highest match within 150 miles. This guy was my 99%, and he was handsome, didn't sound like a murderer, and I was curious. So we decided to meet, and now we're celebrating our third anniversary. So I know anecdotes aren't proof that there's something to OkCupid's algorithms, but I do have to wonder. Yeah, it could be a happy coincidence, I can accept that, but maybe there's something to those hundreds of probing questions that made Nate my 99%. So guys, let me know what you think about this, namely a computer's ability to make matches between people in the comments down below, and hit subscribe for more D-News.